the wrong pick. What? The wrong pick. What kind of pick is that? Uh, it's a Dunlop nylon 0. 0.6. That's way too thin. It's way too thin. Okay, well, what should I be using? You have to use a thicker pick for speed and accuracy. Really? Yes. Um, I guess. What makes you the expert? I'm on the internet. Oh. Okay. Uh, try this. I'll try this. What is this? It's a Jazz it's 3 tiny. pick. It's a Jazz 3 pick. Well, who uses this? Eric Johnson. He shreds. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll try it. Just try it. It's really rigid. It's supposed to be. Just try it. Come on. All right. You're holding it wrong. Uh, what do you mean? How are you holding that pick? Well, I kind of use my first two fingers and then my thumb. No, like this. no, 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 no. That's all wrong. Hold it like this. Curl your finger Curl it? and put your thumb over it. Yes. Like that? Just do it. <sighs> it's the right way. Just do it. This isn't... I don't know about this. Just do it. Okay. Isn't that so much better? I guess. Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today we're going to talk about guitar picks, which picks people think you should be using, and how those same people think you should be holding those picks. And by people, I'm mostly talking about the pros on the internet. Now, if you've been following it all with my nine-month guitar journey and the other kind of guitar videos that I've been posting over the last year, you will know that I went through kind of a journey, a trip involving picks and how I was holding my pick. I talked about how, how originally I was using these Jim Dunlop ugh, 0.6 millimeter picks. They're very thin, and I used to use those when I played a lot of rhythm stuff. They're very thin, but I found it really easy for me to play rhythm with them. And then when I was trying to get better at guitar over the last year, like really trying to start doing lead things and single note stuff, I thought, you know, maybe this isn't working. It seems a little too floppy. It seems difficult for me to do lead stuff on the guitar. And so I started looking into other kinds of picks. What kind of picks were people using? What picks did the pros use? And I started getting a lot of advice about how I needed a thicker pick. Like, don't use anything over or under one millimeter. So I started getting some of the Tortex picks. I got the blue Tortex, which is, I think, point or one millimeter. Um, the one millimeter blue Tortex pick, which I did find easier to do single note stuff with. And then I especially started hearing about how I can't be holding my pick with two fingers like this. I was supposed to curl my index finger, place the pick on it, and then put my thumb like that. I found this super uncomfortable, but then I started doing some kind of hybrid thing where basically I was putting the pick on my finger like this and then curling my thumb over. And I found that that was kind of useful, but then even the one millimeter pick, I decided, oh, that's too thick. I don't really like that. So then I settled on these Prime Tone by Dunlop, and this is the 0.73 millimeter pick. I kind of decided that this is what I was gonna go with. They're expensive, they're like five bucks for three of them. Um, they wear out pretty quickly too, but I thought it was a good compromise because I need a thick pick. Everyone tells me I need a thick pick if I'm gonna be playing guitar. And I still found it kind of annoying. <laughs> To play rhythm with it, it just felt a little too rigid 
but I got along with it and I thought I was doing okay. But then I kept reading things, kept seeing things, kept watching videos where people said, you have to hold your guitar pick like this, even when you're playing rhythm. And, you know, even though I was doing lead holding my pick like this, I was transferring over to sort of a three finger grip using my index, middle finger, and my thumb like this when I was playing rhythm. I just found that I had a lot more control that way. It was what I was used to. It was easy for me to adjust the pick if it started moving on me. But everyone said, no, no, you can't do that. You have to hold it with just the two fingers. And I tried. I went through this real crisis of competence for a good two week period where I decided I have to play rhythm like this. I have to strum like this. And so I just worked at it. I never really got it. I never felt like I had the same control. I never felt like I had the same facility. I never felt like I could strum as quickly or as accurately as I could when I was holding my pick like this. And so I just started thinking, is there really a right way to hold your pick? And is there really the right pick for you to use? And I went on a little journey and I started doing more research. And I think I decided at the end of the day that no, there isn't only one right way to play guitar. And that seems obvious. There are so many great players who play in very strange ways, who hold their picks in weird ways, who use thin picks or thick picks. Some people use giant 1.5 millimeter picks. Some people use two millimeter picks. Some people use 0.6 nylon picks like this. You know who uses a very, very floppy 0.6 Dunlop nylon USA pick? Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead. I'd say he's a pretty good guitarist. Kurt Cobain used the 0.6 Tortex by Dunlop pick. The Tortex material feels a little bit more rigid than the nylon material. Other people, um, like Paul Gilbert, uses this orange Tortex pick. This would be considered a very thin pick by most people. And I decided, you know what? As long as I can play what I want to play, then I'll use whatever pick I want, and I'll hold it in whichever way I want. I did so much research on all of this. This one, this is very dirty, but it is a Herco Flex 75, but it's the Holy Grail pick. So it's probably like a millimeter thick, but it feels around the same thickness as like a 0.73 Dunlop nylon pick. It has more of a point on the end of it. And this is the pick that supposedly Jimmy Page used. So. It's a little floppier than a standard, I don't know, even like this prime tone pick, which is only 0.73. It feels more rigid than this Herco 0.75. I don't even know, I guess it's a one millimeter, but it feels more or less rigid than the prime tone at 0.73. And I just started realizing all these people who most people would consider great guitar players use varied picks. Eddie Van Halen uses a 0.6 or used a 0.6 Dunlop nylon pick, which most people would say, oh, you can never play fast. You can never get the speed you need with a 0.6 nylon pick. I'd say Eddie Van Halen plays pretty quickly. I'd say he gets a lot of speed. And he has a very unorthodox way of holding a pick. He often just uses his middle finger and his thumb and does this crazy tremolo technique, which I can't even hope to replicate. But you can do it. You can do pretty much whatever you want as long as it works. And so I decided after getting myriad different picks. You don't know how many picks I have purchased on Amazon.com recently, just trying to find the right one. I had kind of settled on the prime tone 0.73, but at the end of the day, I just decided I, I'm not happy with that. I like playing rhythm with a thinner pick. I didn't go all the way back down to the 0.6 Dunlop USA nylon, because that still just seemed a little too thin for me. I wasn't able to do, even if I choked up a lot on it, the lead stuff. <laughs> I mean, I can still kind of do it, but it just felt like a little too floppy. So here's what I've settled on. Either this or this. This is a 0.73 Dunlop nylon pick. 
or the 0.73 Max Grip Dunlop Nylon Pick. To me, this is a good combination, a best of both worlds sort of situation. I can hold on to it. I can play single note lead stuff. If I choke up on it, then when I want to play rhythm, I'm not forcing myself to play with the pick held like this. I'm going to my three-fingered grip. It works. It works for me. And when I want to switch to lead, it's an easy transition. I'm just moving my fingers from here in my rhythm position to here for my lead position. It's quick. It's easy. I can do it. And I don't feel like I'm limiting myself. I'm not forcing myself into a certain peg, or I'm not forcing my peg into a certain shaped hole that everyone says, oh, you can only use the Jazz 3 that Eric Johnson uses, because he's really good at guitar, right? Well, guess what? Eddie Van Halen's really good at guitar too, or he was, and he used a 0.6 nylon pick. I'm not Eddie Van Halen. I'm not Eric Johnson. I'm Bradley, and I have decided that I'm going to use this 0.73 Dunlop nylon, or the Max Grip, I haven't decided which one yet, and I'm going to shift my grip. And when I want to play lead, I'll switch up my grip like this. So throughout this entire thing, I guess what I have learned is if it works for you, it's good. If it sounds good, it's good. If you're not finding yourself limited by the gear you choose or the way you hold your pick or the pick that you've decided to use, then it's fine. It works. If, like I was with the 0.6, just a little too thin pick, if you're finding yourself unable to play lead lines quickly, maybe that's a technique thing, but if that's where you are as far as your guitar playing skill, then that's what you, then you shouldn't use something that's limiting you. I have found that this 0.73 Dunlop nylon pick allows me to play lead and it allows me to play rhythm. And I think I'm happy with that. I think that's where I'm sticking for now. And I'm not gonna keep second guessing myself. Should I be using a thicker pick? Should I be using a different shape pick? Should I be using a different grip? If it works and I can do everything I wanna do while using that grip or that pick, then it's fine. It's totally fine. Thank you so much for watching. I've been a good friend, Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. Now go out there, grab whatever pick you want, and play. I'll see you later.